What's up? Welcome back to another review. Um, this time it's actually not a mouse review. I am uh, kind of going into uncharted territory here and it is a review, my first review of something that I find to be one of the most important and relevant factors in improving anybody's gameplay in professional gaming. And that is sound, sound quality, and the headphones that you are utilizing or sound card that you're utilizing for professional gaming. Just to uh, give you guys that are new to the channel a little bit of my background, I am a former professional Counter-Strike 1.6 player. I've played about uh, six or seven seasons of Cal Invite for 1.6, and uh, I am currently ranked uh, Masters in Apex, former Apex Predator, and I have been uh, top ranked in Valorant as well, and uh, Overwatch. So I no longer play for a professional team, um, but I do play at a high tier competitive level. And I don't throw that around to uh, toot my own horn. I just want you guys to have a little bit stronger of a feeling of somebody giving you an opinion that's behind the camera that has played at that higher tier level so that you know, um, you know it's, it's not just another reviewer, it's not just um, somebody who doesn't know crap about video games and, and competitive uh, play and is just rambling his mouth. Uh, so I have three headsets here and I've kind of gone on a recent quest to find um, a better gaming headset or a, gaming better, uh, a better gaming audio setup. And I did get a uh, ARC MK2 uh, amp and DAC by Mayflower Electronics to power some headphones at a uh, better level than what my RAW Crosshair 8 uh, is able to power on my motherboard. I have the PC38X, I have the HD560S, uh, the new release from Sennheiser, and I have the um, HE400i planner uh, magnetic driven headset by HiFiMan. And the reason why I wanted to try the planners is because I actually did have the HyperX Orbit S, uh, which was, I, I was a big fan of. Um, I, I just didn't find them too, too comfortable. And of course those have planar magnetic drivers as well. Loved the sound. The bass was a little bit heavy. It kind of thumped your head in game uh, when grenades are going off and things like that, but um, a very good headset to say the least. Now, starting with the PC38X, um, you know, the build quality is fairly good. I don't think that anybody is going to have much of an issue unless you're throwing your headset around. Um, Sennheiser and Mashdrop have taken a very um, tried, true, and tested shape. Um, it is a plastic frame, but it is sturdy. Um, you know, anything that you all may have tried potentially from uh, HyperX or Logitech, it's got a very similar build quality and anybody that is uh, used to the 5 series of the Sennheisers um, will be very comfortable with these. I do find the clamping force of this headset to be much greater um, than the HD 560S and I also find them to be less comfortable than the HD 560S. This headset is $180 on Amazon, uh, the HD 560S is about $199 MSRP and the Hi-Fi Man was about $180. The good thing about the PC38X is you might not necessarily need a uh, amp or a DAC, amp-DAC combo to uh, drive your headset. Um, this does get sufficient power through my RAW Crosshair 8 uh, Asus motherboard with the Realtek drivers. Um, I get plenty of power. I, I do find that at 100% volume, it is still dull, even with the Realtek drivers set to extreme as far as power level to the headset. Um, so that's one thing that you should look out for is if you need some extra volume, you might not get it through your motherboard with this headset. I can say that for a gaming headset that has a mic included for around $180, uh, the headset is phenomenal. Um, it has great sound, it's very neutral, it is something that um, provides great directional audio, um, but at a certain point you kind of have to evaluate how good the directional audio actually is 
uh, compared to other things. And while the directional audio was good, I felt that the directional audio lacked a significant amount of depth. That is when things are and objects and games are a little bit closer to me. Sure, I could you know pinpoint if it's coming from my left or coming from my right. Um, and where I lacked a little bit of detail is when things are above you and below you and when several sounds are going on simultaneously, um, I feel that the headset loses quite a bit of clarity as far as uh, analytical listening like the HD 560S and the imaging and sound stage of the 560S and the 560S's ability to separate sounds and provide you a clean, clear blending of everything that's going on directionally from longer distances, uh, the HD 560S does a far superior job than the PC38X. So just long story short on the PC38X, I think the build quality is good for a gaming headset. The mic provides a great amount of clarity. I think it is a perfectly usable mic and I think your teammates will be happy listening to you speaking to them through the mic on Discord or in-game chat. I don't think you're gonna to get too many complaints. It is very comfortable as far as the cushioning and the ear cups and the um, top headband of the headset. Um, build quality is good. It's not magnificent, it's not metal, it is plastic, um, but overall a great headset from Drop. Um, I think that the price is a little bit high for a gaming headset and I don't think in my humble personal opinion it provides a good enough directional audio for a competitive uh, first-person shooter level. PlayStation 5 headset works beautiful. Games sound great. I get significant and uh, sufficient volume on my PlayStation 5. Um, directional audio works great in games on the PlayStation 5, and the headset works great just plugging it directly into the PlayStation 5 controller. So great overall headset, probably one of the best gaming headsets uh, that you can buy if you don't want to go through the hassle of having a sound card, an amp, uh, DAC, anything else on your desk. Um, it is a very neutral sounding headset. Music doesn't sound great. You're not going to get a whole lot of bass. You're not going to be blown off your feet. It's very neutral. It is not nearly as clear as the HD 560S or the Hi-Fi Men, um, but you do get a nice sound out of this headset. Um, the next headset I would like to talk about is the Hi-Fi Men HE400i. I think that this headset is extremely comfortable. The build quality is phenomenal and compared to a gaming headset like the PC38X, um, I don't think that it necessarily provides with what sound card you might be using as good of directional audio as the PC38X. Um, but this headset paired with my ARC MK2, I actually did feel had a better sound stage and better imaging than the PC38X. Um, of course, it is a audiophile headset in the um, kind of medium range price point at $180. The headset is extremely comfortable with the ear pads that come stock on the headset, very plush, very breathable and just really, really comfortable on your head. The headband is just built like a tank. I mean, this thing is comfortable. Um, I don't see any build quality issues. And as far as the uh, build quality on and throughout the headset, it is um, not plastic. It is a m nice metal uh, material and just feels absolutely phenomenal. And there's a little perforation within the material uh, in the ear cup there. Now, this headset sounds absolutely phenomenal, and unlike the HyperX, it does not provide that boom of uh, bass in those planar magnetic drivers, which is good. You do not want, when you are gaming, um, you do not want that bass overshadowing and overclouding your footsteps and your directional pinpoint of sounds and things that are going on, especially something like Apex, when you have footsteps here, footsteps there, your teammate that's down pinging over here, this guy throwing a grenade, that guy shooting his gun, and you know, you're getting third and fourth partied. Um, you don't want bass in that, heavy bass in that scenario. You want to uh, be able to have a very neutral and clear, crisp sound coming out of your headset. And this definitely provides that. 
Um, it's very clear, the sound is absolutely phenomenal. The sound stage is fairly wide, not as wide in my opinion as the HD 560S, but for a, pl a planar magnetic driver and headset, if you are looking for something on a audiophile level, um, this headset is extremely, uh, pr provides a, a sound stage that's fairly wide, a sound that is clear and crisp, and uh, you'll never notice anything being too harsh as far as the sounds coming out of this headset. And um, I think the resolution on the headset is fantastic and everything is very, very detailed in music videos on the PlayStation 5, um, in single player games and multiplayer games. Um, but without a proper sound setup, um, I was using the Sound Blaster uh, G6 initially to drive these, and I felt that the directional audio was just very cloudy and muggy. So in Valorant, I could hear when somebody was to my left and when somebody was to my right. Um, but if somebody was above me and below me, it just blurred together. If somebody was in front of me or behind me, it began to blur together. Um, when I got my ARC MK2, that actually totally went away, um, surprisingly, so I don't quite um, know the technicalities and technical information as to why that would be, but I can say that with the proper setup, these uh, directionally sound fantastic. And if you like planar magnetic drivers and you want a budget headset that you can attach, attach a mod mic to, um, this is fantastic for music listening and uh, directional audio in both Apex and Valorant, and I'm sure many other games. Now, <clears throat> the uh, current headset that I am going to be maining out of the bunch and out of any gaming headset that I've set, uh, heard to date or utilized to date is the HD 560S. Um, this headset, to me, is at a entirely different level. So this headset was $199, and I've attached a mod mic, which is about 40 uh, dollars on Amazon attaches right on and, and sounds just absolutely phenomenal. Um, the headset is extremely comfortable. The build quality is, it is a plastic frame, um, but the build quality, like most Sennheiser headsets, um, it's built extremely well and you're not going to have issues unless you're throwing this thing around. Um, the ear cups as well as the cushioning, um, uh, the, the cushioning on the ear cups as well as the headband are, are really nice and plush and, and just feel great. Um, and the sound on these is absolutely phenomenal. You might need a something better than onboard audio to, to uh, power these um, to get the sufficient volume that you might need. Um, but if again, if you're somebody who has a sound card or has a amp DAC combo um, on your desk or something like a shit stack, um, not shit, but S-C-H-I-I-T. Um, you, you should get sufficient power to drive any of the headphones that we've uh, talked about today. And uh, these are just for gaming purposes. Directionally, I got left and right, of course. I had absolutely no issue up uh, in front of me or behind me. And uh, stacking as far as people running above me and below me. Um, I heard perfectly fine, but what is absolutely insane is the soundstage imaging and how analytical these are, how clear they are, and how absolutely phenomenal they sound. Um, they're just neutral. Nothing is overpowering. So I didn't find the treble to be overpowering. I didn't find the bass to be overpowering. Um, but where, where that really shines is that I could perfectly hear somebody on my left while somebody was on my right, while somebody was above me, while somebody was below me, and while people are shooting out in the distance to my left, to my right, behind me, below me, um, I heard everything with absolute crystal clarity. Um, that is how good this headset is. When I say the sound is absolutely insane, you know, there, there are many things that um, in Counter-Strike 1.6 playing professionally, the number one thing at the time um, was of course monitors that uh, just made people absolutely um, get to the next level because we were going from 60 hertz to 120 hertz, which at the time was like absolutely mind blowing, right? Um, <clears throat> but th the most important thing was sound. Directional audio was like having wall hacks. I mean, when your ears become trained to a headset like this and absolute clarity and directional audio, y you kind of got wall hacks. Um, 
But not just from a gaming aspect. Um, these are absolutely great for movie watching, for uh, music listening. I felt that the how analytical they actually were, um, it kind of brings out some of the things that you don't really want to hear in some of the tracks that you might have been blending uh, at, a, at a better level on a headset like the HE400i. Um, you know, sounds that on the track might be a little bit scratchier or, you know, certain things you kind of get pinpointed to with how analytical these are and how clear they are, um, that those things kind of come out when you are listening to music. But I do want to show you guys some gameplay and you can kind of get a sense in Valorant and in Apex when I am flipping around or turning um, to a different sound cue, how fast and how accurate it is with this headset and sound setup. Getting to the importance of sound, I actually did not know a team was in this building as I was landing, um, but instantly became prepared when I began to hear the footsteps coming down. And I know where their teammate is outside, so I knew I had time to finish one of these players off, get the armor uh, for a quick heal, and then to finish off their teammate. Um, and it kind of goes to show how important the sound is in this scenario, in this clip as well, that I'm able to tell where each of these three individuals are, and I adjust myself to have cover from one of the two or two of the three while uh, pushing forward and finishing off uh, each of the three players on this team. And again, when this player comes in and I finish him, um, I can hear the individual jumping down and I am able to prepare myself. Likewise in Valorant, I was able to track all the footsteps and this is just a death match, um, but no difficulties at all. I knew when players were coming, I knew uh, to prepare my crosshair before um, actually having a line of sight of the players. Um, it's, it's just a thing of beauty. And at $199, um, if you can spend a little bit extra money to power these appropriately, if you're not getting the, the volume that you need on your system, um, I can absolutely say that it is and will be one of the most important factors in helping you um, improve your competitive play in FPS shooters and things that require directional audio. So if I had to say uh, who this headset was for, this headset is absolutely for that casual player who is looking for that competitive edge or it is for that competitive player that is uh, playing and trying to break through to a professional level um, or just play at the absolute best you can possibly play at a competitive level, this is for that type of gamer. I can absolutely say that everybody using this at $200 is going to be blown away. The soundstage and the imaging and the directional audio are absolutely beautiful. The clarity provides something that any gaming headset that I've tried has failed to do. And the mod mic provides an absolutely phenomenal alternative to a built-in mic to make this headset a full-blown gaming headset. And by the way, these mics do come wireless as well if you don't want to worry about the wire or the cable, the extra cable. Um, so for those of you who are looking for that extra edge or just want to play and not have to worry about not having good directional audio, I highly, highly recommend this headset for those um, utilizing it for gaming. And when you compare it to something like the PC38X, um, in my honest opinion, and I'm not talking about, you know, sound quality, um, but just the overall package, sound quality, clarity, um, everything that you are getting out of this, I would, if you can, if you can spend the extra uh, $20 to get this headset, spend a, you know, about $30 to $40 for a uh, microphone, or you might already have a desktop microphone like a lot of you streamers and uh, video content creators do, um, and you can get a, a desktop uh, power source for the headset or if you already have one this absolutely blows the pc 38x out of the water it's not even comparable at a competitive listening level for directional and depth of directional audio i highly highly recommend uh, foregoing the pc 38x and testing out the 560s
I hope you guys liked the review. Um, if you did, please subscribe. I'm gonna try to come out with more content for uh, headphones, for mice, for keyboards, and try to broaden the categories instead of only sticking to mice. And I hope to see you guys soon. Peace.